Well, Council Chair Amy Fowler, congrats on your new role. Why, and thank you. Welcome. Uh, first off, let's start with what does the City Council do and, and what is the role um, for the Chair as well as the Vice Chair entail? Okay, so the City Council is the body of the, our, our city that makes the policies and adopts the budget. Those are our two main focuses. Um, once we make those policies and adopt the budget, then the administration or the mayor, um, she's the one that spends the money and um, implements the policies that the council has made. As for the chair and vice chair, um, we are the ones that set the agendas that are there to support the other council members, are there to really kind of be the point person or point people um, for the media, for the mayor, for the legislature, um, always including, of course, our other council members, um, but just kind of someone to make sure that is at the, the helm leading a little bit. Uh, I still like to make, think that it's all very equal. We're all very equal, but just somebody to take on a little bit more of the responsibility so not everyone else has to. Excellent. And um, so how does the council decide like what to focus on each year? That's a really good question. Um, sometimes what we have to focus on is just thrown at us, as we've seen in 2020, um, between a pandemic, an earthquake, hurricane force winds, um, the economic downturn because of the pandemic. Those are all things that I don't think we get to choose to focus on. We just have to focus on. Um, when we try to focus on things we want to focus on, it's really about looking at the city and what the needs of the city are. How do we help our communities experiencing homelessness? How do we make sure that our city is thriving and growing and that we're creating a place where people can live, work and play and enjoy their life? That, that's really how we kind of get down to what the needs of our city is. And you know, 2020 was a, quite the turbulent year. Um, what are some of the things that the council is currently working on? Right now, really what a lot of our focus is on is on um, police reform and um, homelessness. Um, I think that those, as we saw in 2020, uh, really shaped what our focus was going to be both last year and this year. As you're aware, we did create the, um, the Racial Equity and Policing Commission and that really is something that is a priority for all of us council members. And as we heard last night with the state of the city, the mayor as well, um, it is, we're dedicated to really looking at how we're policing and what the equity throughout our city is. And how do we increase the equity in all of our services for our residents in Salt Lake City? Yes, and Amy, can you tell us how do residents help shape these priorities and, and weigh in? You know, um, I think residents are the key to shaping our priorities. It's from the residents that we hear what needs are. Um, it's the phone calls, the emails, the texts, the Facebook messages um, that we as council members receive from our constituents, from our residents that remind us of what those priorities are for. You know, we're elected by our constituents and it's important that we listen to them and represent the needs that they have. And, and thanks to 2020, I think there were some new new methods and forms of communication, right? Um, obviously, we weren't able to do the in-person meetings and things like that. So what is the city council doing to improve public engagement and transparency? Are there things that you learned from 2020 that you, you, you see carrying forward into 2021 in terms of public engagement? Yeah, definitely. Um, there... There are some, I, at least through 2020, I always tried to look at, there has to be some silver linings throughout this pandemic. And I think one is, was really pushing us to be innovative and creative with technology. The technology is there and we needed to start using it and say, maybe we don't need those old ways. Um, as much as I miss me meeting in person and being able to see people's faces when they make comments with us, I think we've also really tried to create a way all the different ways for people to interact with our local government. I have to commend our Salt Lake City Council staff. They work tirelessly in coming up with ways to make sure that they're engaging with our public, to make sure that people have access to us as council members and, and that residents 
voices are being heard. Um, they have tweaked and, and you know, gone over and improved the process every single time that we have a council meeting. And I just cannot thank them enough for the outreach that they have done. And, you know, the other question I have is, is so how can residents continue to stay engaged and stay connected? What are some ways that they can, you know, keep up to date on what's happening here with the city? You know, um, all of us council members put out newsletters. And if you have email, you can join your district's email list. We do email blasts and our newsletters via email. We each send out um, once a year a written um, newsletter through the public utilities bill. And of course, we have our Facebook page. We have Salt Lake City Council Facebook page. We have Salt Lake City TV. Um, yes. And, um, you know, calls, texts, emails. Uh, we all are try very hard to make sure that we are listening to our residents. We're all very busy as council members, but we it is important to each of us that we're listening to residents and that their voices are heard. I think the other thing I would really want to suggest or want people to know is that each of our districts have community councils as well. And those community councils are fantastic. It's a great way for people to know not just what's happening in the city, but what's happening in their own community. And each of us council members go to our community, community meetings and kind of act as the liaison, talk about what's happening in the city level. And for me, it's a great way to remember what's going on in my own community. Um, so I would encourage everyone to look at their community councils, maybe get involved in that way as well. And for the residents that are that are listening right now, um, what would you like to tell them from the council? And and you know what um, what do we know? And, and what are our plans for for the future here in the city? I want to improve the city. I want to protect the city. I want to make sure we're engaging each and every one of our residents. And I think sometimes. People think that we're not listening, but I promise you we are. We are listening. And maybe things don't turn out exactly the way that people want or exactly the way that we plan or want them to go. But we are listening and we do continue to listen and we care. So keep in contact with us. Let us know what we can do better. And by golly, we will definitely try to do it. Thank you, Council Chair Amy Fowler. Thank you.